Um, a few things from the EFSF ESM. Um, you heard we made good progress today on all program countries, and therefore the EFSF stands ready to transfer substantial amounts of money to these countries during the next few weeks. Greece, for instance, um, it would be 2.8 billion euro after the milestones have been met. In addition, for Greece, there are 7.2 billion euro available in bonds to recapitalize the banks. This is based on a tranche already approved um, last December. For Portugal, there will be at least 1.3 billion euro available after the completion of the review for Ireland, 2.4 billion euro after board approval. All this is the EFSF. As you know, the EFSF continues to finance these three countries. Cyprus is then the first um, fully fledged program under the ESM. Um, here we have negotiated with the authorities the financial assistance facility agreement. The chairman mentions the amount up to 9 billion euro will come from the ESM. We have also agreed on the maturity, um, 15 years average maturity and 20 years maximum maturity. If all the agreements um, are finalized by the Board of Governors and Board of Directors, the first disbursement could happen in mid-May. So obviously, EFSF, ESM, um, unlike the IMF, we have to mobilize the funds to make this lending possible. We had the most successful week ever for these two institutions and the markets this week. We issued um, a five-year bond of 8 billion euro, which was heavily oversubscribed by more than 200 investors at an interest rate of less, slightly less than 1%. So this is an indication um, how much this lending helps the countries because it's at very favorable rate. Also this week we, we mobilized another 2 billion in ESM builds. So in this week alone we, we mobilized 10 billion euro, um, which um, I consider a big success. Thank you very much.